Hello, this is an EDC 1200 Self-Education and Society Assignment 2. I am Katie Maunder. The following presentation is on how might education mediate difference and dominance. The event chosen will be aimed at the later primary school years. The issue is an article from the ABC News on Tuesday, April 12, 2011. Jeremy Thompson, the journalist. Combat, too dangerous for female soldiers. The article is about the Defence Minister Stephen Smith planning to fast track the introduction of female soldiers into frontline combat roles and the Australian Defence Association is opposing the idea. Neil James, spokesperson for the Australian Defence Association, has said that women cannot physically have the same strength and endurance as men, especially for one-on-one -on -one combat on the front line, and would be at risk of higher casualties in future conflicts. The focus on difference and dominance within the Australian Defence Force, difference being genders and dominance being the male hierarchy, and the effects that the dominant group has by demonising and othering female soldiers, stereotyping them by assuming all females are physically inadequate to handle combat. Most young males in today's society do not necessarily agree with this difference between the genders, even within the army, and the view is mainly held by the male hierarchy traditionalists. These men in higher commands are demonising women by their unconscious assumptions that femaleness would be a deficit in a combat role on the front line of war and cause more problems for their male colleagues by being a distraction as well as eroding discipline and mateship in future units. This focus on the masculinity and femininity highlights issues of power and inequity which have been endorsed through understandings of gender and as difference and opposi opposition. Some believe it is not a gender argument, that specific jobs in the military require people with specific physical, mental and intellectual capabilities. This is an obvious necessity, especially in areas of defending our country. Therefore, if a person meets the criteria for certain jobs, should it not be made available to those people regardless of gender? Part B. This topic of gender difference and dominance within the Defence Force could be used as a continuation of our ANZAC history and tradition. Our final outcome would be to create groups of specialised army soldiers with all students participating in a particular role that they and their classmates believe they are best suited. The final would be group presentation on who is suited for what role and whether being a boy or girl influenced the decision of the roles chosen. Lesson 1 would be a discussion on what roles women played in past wars. A list of milestones of women's achievements within the army from past wars would be handed out, exploring why they held only certain jobs and could they have been capable of doing other jobs, for example aviators and introduce some heroines from the Second World War, for example, Nancy Wake, the White Mouse of France. For homework, they could research whether other countries allow females in combat roles, for example, Canada. Lesson 2, the outcome would be to find out from students their interests and strengths what specialties they could relate to within the Defence Force by listing their top 10 interests such as sports, computers, reading, drawing, athletics or chess, then grouping them on the board to find the percentages of boys to girls for those interests, along with relating them within jobs within the Defence Force. Lesson 3. After I carefully analysed students' interests and hobbies, I would place them in groups of five with a variety of talents within each group. The lesson would be for the groups to record times and measurements for each student, doing some activities such as running 100 metres or shot put, computer games such as mathematics, chess or checkers, or other mind games, recording times and achievements. Lesson 4. Students would continue with their recordings if need be, and work on a short presentation for the class on who and what jobs were suited for each student and why and did gender influence their decisions. 
a list of jobs and specialties would be given to the groups so that all students could choose a field based on their ability and interests. Lesson 5 would be presentation day and also a couple of short films on female heroines of our past. Thank, Thank you. you for listening.